Since I was a child I've always had a passion for football video games. And I've always had a lot of fun incorporating realistic elements into them. I've also played online over the years, but my true passion has always been career modes. I used to narrate my career experiences on forum communities, and from the PS4 onward, I started being able to create videos with much higher quality than in previous years. Storytelling has always been a fundamental part of my career modes, often because various FIFA and Pro Evolution never added new features to the career mode. In Pro Evolution 21 I played various manager modes, mainly because the game was quite realistic and allowed for customization of kits, like the one from Wolfsburg you just saw. In recent years, I've delved into career modes with fictional teams and their high level of customization has truly left me satisfied. Even now, I hold close to my heart matches and players that have never existed. But with the AFC 24, my first next-gen football game, I wanted to switch things up. I aim for realism in this journey. After serving as an advisor, Park Ji Sung became technical director at John Buck Hyundai Motors in September 2022. In my career mode, a few months later, he became the coach of the team. John Buck is one of the top teams in South Korea, so the primary goal is to win the championship in the first season. We have Jong Hoon, who is a young and promising goalkeeper will give him some playing time. The rest of the team is already good. We don't need many new additions. And then, looking at the players, I fall in love. Song Min Kyu is a winger for Jian Buck in reality, but I believe he can perform even better as a striker. Pay attention to this move because it will change this career forever. We need a quality midfielder who knows how to take set pieces. After some research, I decide to buy Yoon Big Garam for just over 2 million euros. He's not very young. He's 33 years old, but he can really make a difference this season. For the same reason, we also acquire Hernani Jr., a player similar to Yoon. I don't have many videos from the first season. I hadn't come up with the idea for the video yet. However, let me summarize by saying that Song is the top scorer of the tournament and his blonde hair has already become iconic in South Korea. Unfortunately, though, Song alone won't be enough to secure us the championship, which we will lose on the final day against rivals Ulsan Hyundai. Nevertheless, we reach the final of the Asian Champions League. We're against Ail Hilo, which boasts players like Neymar, Mitrovic, and Bonu. By the 85th minute, we were trailing 1-0 but Silva keeps us afloat with the equalizing goal. Extra time is a true ordeal. We face a lot of pressure and even come close to an epic bicycle kick goal that would have made headlines worldwide. and then we get to the penalty shootout. They have better penalty takers than we do, but at this point, anything can happen. Oh, lucky Neymar. John Hoon makes an exceptional save. Now, we need to be skillful and not waste this advantage. Sul dischetto per cadere ancora in partita la propria squadra. C'è la parata, finisce qui il match. Portiere decisivo. Ha intuito l'intenzione dell'avversario, ha sventato il penalty. John Hoon once again performs a miracle, 
saving Mitrovic's shot, and we are the champions. Park Ji Sung's Jianbuck brings home an international trophy, finishing second in the league just like in 2016. The boys are happy, celebrating by lifting the hard-earned trophy. Gianbuck's play is praised throughout the continent. It was a unique victory against a formidable opponent. However, after taking the group photo, Park is seen crying next to the team bus, embracing the players and holding a suitcase in his hands. In November 2023, Basel is at the bottom of the league table. People can't fathom how this is possible, but everyone agrees on one thing. A new coach is needed. An entire stadium welcomes Park as the new leader, and it will be up to him to bring Basel back to the upper ranks of the league. With the January transfer window just opened, a player arrives from Korea for 5 million euros. Song is ready to show the world who he truly is. We then renew the contract of Arno Comas, the Spanish defender who has promised the future captain's armband. The transfer fee of 2 million is also paid to secure the rights to Dimmer, the right midfielder on loan from Galatasaray. The contract of Maurice Malone is also renewed, and he will accompany Song in the attack. We loan the young Basetic to give some rest to Captain Fabian Fry, who will retire at the end of the year. Costas Kuliarakis arrives from Pot for about 3 million euros. He is a central defender often compared to Manolas. Regarding the first season in Basel, I don't have many videos, but you'll be happy to know that Park did it. Basel wins the Swiss Championship after a long battle with young boys and reaches the final of the Swiss Pokal. As you can see, we win 4-3 against Lucerne. After only six months in Switzerland, Park has already won two titles in Europe. However, it's true that Basel didn't play in European competitions, making the journey to victory much easier. At this moment, Stefan Bacetic lifts the trophy because I accidentally substituted Fabian Fry in the last minutes of the game. Nonetheless, Fabian Fry will retire from playing and become our assistant coach in the upcoming season. Once again, Park's risky yet vibrant playing style is praised. Some refer to the former United player as the new Stenic Zeman. While celebrating the two titles on the bus, Park Ji Sung is already thinking about the goal for the next season to go as far as possible in the Champions League. To achieve this, some acquisitions will be necessary in the summer transfer window. The coach's first move is to sell Jonathan Dubasin for approximately 8 million. Following that, George Ivanovich is also sold, generating 4 million from his transfer. The first acquisition is Marco Bulat, the successor to Fabian Fry a midfielder with excellent skills. Then, we purchase Saipi, the most promising Swiss goalkeeper of the moment. Alan Rodriguez is a left-back joining from Rosario Central, and Moses User, a lightning-fast right-winger, comes from Slavia Prague. We also acquire Conan Dri, who will be our reserve striker. From St. Gallen, Jozo Stanich arrives, He's a fullback whom Park will deploy as a center back. Finally, a young backup defensive midfielder, No Libertan, arrives, strongly desired by the coach. These players are each paid approximately 3 million, which is the same amount that Basel spends on average for a player. We've spent almost 14 million and generated 12 from the sales of Dubasin and Jovanovic. In the Champions League, we find ourselves in a tough group with Bayern, Napoli, and PSV. Despite this, we're holding our own, 
and the last match of the group will determine whether we finish third or second. Ending up in the Europa League wouldn't be bad, but the desire to win is still strong. After just eight minutes, a cross from the left finds Victor Osimhen in the box, and he doesn't miss beating hits. Park is not pleased with his team's approach to the game, but he knows we can make a comeback. Alan Rodriguez finds Gato on the edge of the area. The Argentine winger dribbles past the opponent, moves the ball onto his right foot, and takes a shot on goal, scoring a splendid equalizer. Leo Ostegard makes a serious mistake, losing the ball to Demir, who sprints towards the goal at full speed, creates space, and sets up Maurice Malone in the box. It's 2-1 for us. The match ends like this, and we qualify for the Champions League round of 16. In the league, we play against Servette, a good team. Gato picks up a ball from the left, cuts inside, and scores. This player is really exploding this season. It will be difficult to keep him at the end of the year. Malone, Song, and even Le Breton also find the net. We bring it home without too much effort. It's January, and we receive an offer from Cotties. We consider it, but we decide to decline. We have great goals for this season. In our youth team, Hoffman and Fisher are two young talents in Swiss football. We receive a significant offer from Maurice Malone, but the player has no intention of moving in January, especially with a Champions League to play. In the league, we play against Stade Lausanne, and Song Min Q scores a peculiar goal. The fans are delighted, the reserves also find the net, and we win 3 to 1. We play against them again in the Swiss Pokal, and the game immediately goes in our favor. Song Min Q is unstoppable, and once again finds the back of the net. The team is performing well, there is joy in the group, and we feel stronger than our opponents. Song even scores a hat trick, demonstrating how Park's decision to play him as a striker has proven to be right. We play against the other team from Lausanne. By now, we know this city by heart. We field our luxury reserves. We need to rotate. The next match will be in the Champions League, and we can't afford to arrive tired. Erling Holland and Manchester City are formidable opponents, but we can play our cards. After a few minutes, we unexpectedly take the lead with the ever-reliable song, the blondest powerhouse in the world. Around the 30th minute of the first half, Renato Vega attempts a somewhat wayward shot, but the ball ends up at Maurice Malone's feet. Guardiola is not pleased and gives his team a talking to during halftime. Indeed, Rodrigo quickly reduces the gap. Man City presses, and shortly after, the legendary KB fires a left-footed shot from outside the box and puts it in. But Park rallies his team, and on the counter-attack, Bullet beats Ederson Marais. However, the game is not over, and indeed, Guimaraes scores shortly after. Yet, Basel never gives up, and in injury time, Le Breton attempts a shot that is collected and pushed into the net by Malone. Today, we are the winners. In the same week, we play against our rivals, young boys. Our minds are elsewhere, but Rodriguez scores the most beautiful goal of the season with a powerful left-footed shot from outside the box, and we win. A crucial victory for the standings. Now we are leading by plus 8 points ahead of them. Park is calm. At this point, we can simulate a few matches. The eagerness to play the return leg against Manchester City is strong. Take a look at the top scorer's chart. Soon we'll have three players in double figures. In the home game against Servette, we lose, 
but we know it's not a problem. Let's simulate the match against Winterthur, an easy opponent, and we win by two goals. By the way, Miller is a winger who has never started a game. Park is restless. Perhaps it's the most important game of his career. Guardiola City will do everything to advance to the next round. Once again, the trouble stem from De Bruyne's feet, as he scores just 10 minutes into the game. Park is concerned, City is determined, and Guardiola is hyperactive on the sidelines. However, life is beautiful because it's unpredictable. Gato bursts down the wing and sets up Song, who, one-on-one -on -one with Ederson Marais, doesn't miss and levels the score. The English, however, respond well, attack, and a few minutes later, Rodrigo exploits a misplaced position by Saiki, shifts onto his right foot, and scores the 2-1. We would be ready for extra time, but in the last play, Malone collects a ball, carries it forward, serves Bullet in the center, and we score. We've won. We've beaten one of the strongest teams in the world. The crowd is incredulous. The players are ecstatic. G Sung Park has eliminated Pep Guardiola, say the newspapers across Europe. Let's simulate the away game against Zurich, and we win again by scoring three goals. We also simulate the next match against the second team from Zurich, and this time we lose. It's time to bring Fisher into the first team. He's a phenomenon, and now we can give him some chances. We win against St. Gallen and prepare for the Swiss Cup match against Lucerne. In the league, we have a good advantage. In the Champions League, we're doing well, but we need to bring home this trophy too. We rotated the squad, but Park has confidence in all his men. Fortunately, the game goes well, user scores a goal at the end, and we win with a tennis-like score of 7-3. Park Ji Sung's Basel is simply too strong for the other Swiss teams. In the next match against Everton, Benjamin Fischer proves to be a real talent by scoring his first goal in the league and then, shortly after, even a personal brace. In the quarterfinals of the Champions League, we face Paris Saint-Germain. Partita da non perdere, ve lo dico, ma forse non ce n'è bisogno perché questo è davvero un match straordinario ed è stata, devo dire, straordinaria anche la vigilia, molto vivace per le due squadre. Per il resto ci sono grandi personalità. PSG attacks from the first minutes. We never leave the penalty area, but Saipi truly saves everything during the first half. After this save in slow motion, Park nicknamed him Matrix. Against all odds, at the end of the first half, a space opens up between PSG's defenders. Song slips through and beats Donnarumma. With 10 goals in 13 matches, this guy is making Basel sore. Shortly after, Demir dribbles through a confused defense and serves Malone in the center. The ball to Song. 2-0 inexplicably within 4 minutes. PSG is in disarray. But at the beginning of the second half, Marquinhos shortens the distance with a header, and the game is wide open. We resist for half an hour, and Marino misses a clear header. In injury time, from a corner kick, Dre heads it down, and Song hammers the ball into the net on the first touch, giving Basel a crucial advantage in the return leg, which will be played in Paris next week. The blonde Korean takes the ball home, the hat trick. If Basel won today, it's because of him. Let's simulate against Lugano, fielding a rotated lineup, and we lose three points that don't change the standings. In the press conference, Park Ji-sung is bombarded with questions from journalists, but he is confident. 
we will play an excellent game in Paris. During the warm-up, Song is jeered by the opposing fans, clearly fearing him. The Korean is focused, eager to repeat his performance today. PSG starts strong, and after 10 minutes, once again, Marquinhos scores from a corner kick. Things are not going well. Xavi Simons is on fire and easily reaches the goal. It's him who provides the assist for the 2-0 to Kolomwani. It's looking bad for Basel. The dream seems to be fading. At the end of the first half, we lose possession due to Song's mistake, and De Jong scores the 3-0. Park goes into the locker room with a notebook in hand. In the second half, Song enters the field with a desire to redeem his mistake. He takes the ball from his own area and starts running. He leaves the Parisian defenders behind. Arriving tired in front of Donnarumma, he takes aim and shoots. We're back on level terms. This guy is an incredible player. Park encourages his players. While Kuliarakis convinces himself to be the Manolas of the old times, steals the ball, and starts the counter. He serves Malone, who quickly launches Song. The Korean dashes towards the goal, looks at the goalkeeper, and shoots. Basel is back in the lead thanks to Song. Shortly after, Kuliarakis, channeling the spirit of Manolas, recovers a ball and serves it forward, Dimmer distributes, Malone dashes towards the goal while being chased, sees Song moving inside, and serves him. Another hat trick for Song. And as the spirit of Manolas leaves Kuliarakis, George Wea takes possession of Min Kyu Song, who dashes forward, performs a coast-to-coast -coast run as if fatigue doesn't exist, enters the penalty area, and serves the run of Malone. 4-3 In the end, Chavi Simon scores the 4-4 goal, but it's not enough. With an aggregate score of 7-5, we beat PSG and reach the Champions League semi-final. Two hat-tricks for Song. Park knows he'll surely sign with a top club next season. We draw against Lausanne, but winning the championship is almost a certainty. We lose the next game against Zurich. Yet, we beat Lugano with a goal from Fischer. In the semi-final, we face Newcastle, the favorite to win the tournament. Champions League che sta entrando nel vivo per ultimo ostacolo sul loro cammino verso il trono d'Europa. Solo una arriverà in finale e proverà a prendersi la Coppa delle Gambie. The Magpies start strong, and after just two minutes, they catch us off guard and score the opening goal. Barnes is on fire, and Almiron hits a spectacular crossbar. We have a good chance shortly after with Malone, but the German gets hypnotized by Pope. In the second half, Captain Comas commits a silly foul and concedes a free kick. Pariko steps up to take it, takes a run up, and shoots. I've never seen anything like it, the best free kick ever. Then Comas makes another mistake conceding a penalty to the Magpies. Isaac steps up to the spot, but Saipi saves it. We're still in the game, I admit I thought, before Isaac took his revenge. We are tired, disheartened, and shortly after, Kuliarakis commits a lethal foul that cost him a red card. He will miss the return leg in England. To make matters worse, Jolington makes it 4-0 with a header. We've lost, deserving to lose. There's little else to add. Park G some knows it will be tough to motivate the guys, but he has to try to lift their spirits. 
We win against St. Gallen thanks to goals from Liam Miller. In the Champions League, Stanich will play instead of Kuliarakis. There are high expectations on Song Min Kyu, who starts strong with a dangerous shot. We try, but attacking makes us more vulnerable, and Newcastle takes advantage with Isaac, who arrives in front of Saipi and beats him with a delightful paninka. Five goals are too many. We are out of the game. Yet, we react. Dimir dashes down the wing, runs fast, enters the penalty area, and shoots under the crossbar. We narrow the gap. But from a corner kick, Barnes collects a ball and scores again. And then another one. There's also room for Perejo's right foot, which again shows us how to take a free kick. In the end, the match finishes 4-2 and 8-2 overall. A bitter defeat, but we are aware that we have still accomplished a miracle. We simulate and win against Servette, and in the last league match against Young Boys, Gaudo scores his most beautiful goal in the red and blue jersey. Final whistle, we have won the league for the second time in a row. The guys were fantastic, playing an incredible season, with Song Min Kyu leading the way. Marwin hits, nearing retirement, wears the captain's armband to lift the trophy and close his career with triumph. While celebrating on the field, Ji Sung Park feels his phone vibrate in his pocket, glances at the screen, then turns to his players. There's still one more match to play the cup final against Zurich. The press talked about the interest of a top European club in Juan Gaudo, but today, he seems focused on the match. In the opening minutes, Song escapes down the wing, cuts inside, and beats the goalkeeper for the 30th time this season. Shortly after, the ball bounces fortuitously to Dimmer, who collects it and hammers it into the net, doubling the lead. A few minutes later, Maurice Malone controls a challenging ball and fiercely shoots it into the goal. At the end of the first half, Gigi Shabani scores the goal that reduces the deficit. But in the second half, Malone sprints down the right wing, enters the box, and crosses to Song, who neatly heads it into the net. In the final moments, Zurich finds a header goal, but it proves futile. We win the Swiss Pokal final 5-3, concluding a season beyond all expectations. The players celebrate, bringing their families onto the field. Park ji watches them with a half-smile, hands in his pockets. He knows he will miss all of this. This is the Swiss Super League standings. Atletico won the Europa League and Newcastle managed to win. Park Ji Sung's journey will continue, but not in Switzerland. The Korean manager has received various offers. Thanks to everyone for joining us this far.